Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about extruder screw design and various elements in it. This is the basic design of screw. This is the feeding section where the compound intake takes place. This is the compression section where the compound gets compressed in this zone. This is the metering section where the compound is moved forward for the further stages. Let's discuss in detail. Number one, channel. Channel is nothing but the area between one fluid to the other fluid. This zone we call it as channel. Number two, root. The minor diameter of the screw we call it as root. Number three, hub. This is the hub and the purpose of hub is to give strength to the entire screw. Number four, diameter. This is the diameter. The outer diameter of the fluid is nothing but the diameter of the screw. Number five is channel depth. The distance between the root and the fluid edge, this zone, we call it as channel depth. Six, fluid land. This is the fluid, and the land on the fluid we call it as fluid land. Seven is tip. The edge of the screw is called as tip. Eight is key and nine is shank. This is the key and this is the shank. Key and shank both gets inserted in the gearbox to drive the screw. Phi. This phi is the helix angle. The angle between the vertical line of the hub to the flute angle. This helix angle describes the angle of the screw. L is the length, length of the screw, from here to here. This we call it as length of the screw. This is also called as flight length. Hmm. Pitch. Pitch of the screw is nothing but the distance between one flute to, to the other flute. This we call it as pitch or lead. F is the flute. As we already discussed, this is the flute. Okay. In the next video, we shall discuss about L by D ratio and compression ratio. Thank you.